So we're back with my BYD seal at my home and uh, you can see in the background my other electric car is an MG, uh, it's also an electric motorbike there, um, and on the wall you can see the MG wall charger which we use uh, at the moment to charge both electric cars. Um, but in the next week or so in that space BYD will install another wall charger so I won't have to swap the cars around. I'll be able to charge uh, my seal uh, in this location. Now, I've mentioned before that my house basically is off grid. I run the house. Um, now, two electric cars, electric motorbike, all from solar. I don't draw any power from the grid in actual fact. I've drawn no power for the last, well, over the last year. But Living in the tropics as I do here in Thailand, uh, during the monsoon season, it can be a little difficult to keep the batteries charged up. We've been okay so far, but one of the features that BYDs come with, which say Teslas don't, is a feature called vehicle to load. And vehicle to load is a bi-directional charging system whereby the car can send power out. And I'm hoping to incorporate that into my solar system to support the house load at night. So how have I got it set up? Well, you can see on the post here, um, uh, CCS, a CCS uh, charging plug that comes with the car. Uh, this is the vehicle to load adapter and, and I've installed uh, a box here and uh, trunking that's going into my mechanical room there because this is going to be a permanent setup and I'm going to be drawing power from the car at times when uh, perhaps uh, due to the weather I've not been able to charge my batteries sufficiently and also uh, sometimes you'll charge the cars and then the weather changes and you find yourself discharging the house batteries um, so I want the flexibility to be able to put power into the cars and also to take power out. So let's have a look at this. First of all, I need to unlock the car. So unlocking the car will unlock the charging flap. And we just need the, the top adapter uh, and we're going to just plug this in now and show this in action. In that goes. And when we open the car, you can see it now says discharge in progress. Um, so we'll have a look. We'll do this again tonight when I actually need some power and, uh, and I'll show you in the mechanical room what's happening. So we are back with the BYD seal at night and one interesting thing, the word seal in Thai is meo nam, which literally means water cat. I think it's something to do with the whiskers. Anyway, this cat got to play with the water today. I did say earlier that one of the reasons that you want to have vehicle to load is if you have solar, the weather can be a bit unpredictable. And this is what the weather did today. Okay, so as I said to you before, the, the trunking goes into my mechanical room. So let's go into the mechanical room and, uh, and see where this power comes from. So I've got my pumps, etc., and then all my tools. Uh, but the business end 
is my solar system and so this is where the power ends up and uh, this is the second video that I've done on vehicle to load and I'll put a, a link in the description to the first video I did explaining the theory behind vehicle to load and how I managed to get the power from the car into my solar system. So this is what the inverters look like at night and you can see this is the battery, this is the inverter and this is the house and the batteries are currently at 75% and they're feeding power into the inverter DC going into the inverter being converted to AC and that is then being sent to the house. During the day down here would be solar being produced and up here it says uh, AC so the grid connection is switched off so what we want to see when we switch on vehicle to load is that power comes from AC through to the house and the battery stops discharging because that's all we need vehicle to load to achieve we're not charging the batteries or anything we're just meeting the load of the house and in that way you're probably only drawing a few hundred watts so using vehicle to load is quite an efficient way of powering your home and preserving your batteries and so maybe when you're ready to go to bed and the batteries are still at 75 percent you think that will get me through the rest of the night so we're now going to switch on the vehicle to load and you're going to see what happens okay can you switch on vehicle to load please right and then you can see AC has come up it's going to change this down to wattage and there you can see power going from AC it's not going through the inverter there's, the inverter has disappeared because there's no inversion process needed this is AC to AC the car has got its own onboard inverter and it is sending AC power out of the car